morning. It is 5.05 in the morning. I am going to take you through my morning routine um, all the way throughout the day and then evening routine of all the supplements I take, when I take them, and why I take them. So the very first thing I do when I wake up, I take three of these Protease 360 enzymes. These are intended to be like garbage trucks, if you will. They You take it on an empty stomach at least one hour before eating, um, and then it acts like a garbage truck and picks up like toxins and, and bad things like around the body in order for you to detox and bring them out of the body. So I do these first thing in the morning. I do three of them with just a little bit of water. So I am going to do that now. I just got home from my run, so now I'm going to do breakfast. Um, and before every single time that I eat 30 minutes prior to, I take three different liquescence drops. Um, so I will show you that when I get inside here. I also take two capsules of digestive enzymes 30 minutes before I eat to help get um, my villa and my intestines um, ready to like eat and absorb what I'm going to be consuming through Whole Foods. And then I also take, um, I can't think of the name of the supplement that I take, but I will show it on the screen here. Um, and this is just part of my detox for parasite protocol. So I will show you all those, but I do all of that 30 minutes prior to eating. So I'm gonna do that, cook my breakfast, and then I will show you everything that I take with my very first meal that I eat during the day as well. Okay, so the first liquescence I do is the skin balance liquescence. It is a dropper form. Um, I do, I'll set this up here. I do like one half dropper about it's kind of hard to see, but I do that much. I put it underneath my tongue. Um, I do all three of these at one time. I let it sit for like 30 to 60 seconds. So I do skin balance liquescence. I have this parasite complex as well. This is what I'm currently doing. Um, I am on about month two of doing this. So once this is gone, then I am going to move on to a different protocol. Um, but this is another liquescence that I do underneath the tongue, 30 to 60 seconds. Recently, I added in this Chasberry liposomal liquescence. Again, this is to boost naturally your progesterone levels. Um, I have high estrogen, that's why my cycle is so off balance right now. Um, and this is just a natural way to help boost progesterone levels. So, I just started incorporating this, but I do all three of these liquescence 30 minutes before eating, um, so I do this three times per day. Two digestive enzymes right along with the liquescence. I do this 30 minutes before I eat to, um, like I said earlier, help with getting my digestive and absorption ready in the intestines. Um, so I'm going to do two of these. One of these capsules, herbal fuge, before eating um, as well. Herbal fuge is just a supplement. There is no better way to put it than a parasite worm killer. Um, so I am on currently on this as well as the parasite complex liquescence that I had just showed you. Um, these two are the main things that I'm doing to target my parasite. And then in addition to that, since I am having a carb-based breakfast, I am going to take one capsule of this glucose disposal agent. This is meant to shuttle carbohydrates into your muscles rather than storing it as fat. Um, women who struggle with symptoms of PCOS, um, menstrual issues, hormonal imbalance, this is great along with a vitamin D3 um, to really help target insulin levels um, because we, people with PCOS, signs and symptoms of that, struggle with insulin sensitivity. Uh, so this is one thing that I do from having 25 grams or more of carbohydrate at any given meal or snack, I make sure to take one of these. So I'm gonna do one of these along with my digestive enzymes and that is what I do prior to eating my breakfast. I do the Vegan Power Pro um, Vanilla Protein from First Forum. I, when I do my oatmeal, because I'm staying away from eggs for the majority of the part, I do one full scoop um, of this protein and it's usually 27 grams. 
a little more here. Um, and I like to do this to get in enough protein right away with my breakfast. So I like to do that in my oatmeal. This is just something I wanted to show you because it is what I use on a daily basis to hit my protein goal. Okay, I already took a bite because I'm so hungry, but for lunch I'm having a gluten-free tortilla. I have cooked chicken pesto I topped it with, and then I have a green onions, tomato, and I topped it with lettuce and some sea salt. So this is what I'm doing for my lunch. And then I am going to show you the supplements that I take with my lunch as well um, and explain what I take all of them for. First off, I take two of these full mega capsules, which is omega-3 fatty acids. And in two capsules, there are 2,500 micrograms. So I am ensuring that I'm getting a good ratio of EPA and DHA. Those are two important for um, reducing inflammation, but omega-3s are great for other things aside from reducing inflammation. Um, obviously, when we reduce inflammation, we have less joint pain, things like that. Um, so that's one good benefit to taking omega-3s. However, omega-3s are great for hormonal health as well, um, and that's because it helps level out estrogen levels as well as level out testosterone. Um, and people with PCOS tend to have higher testosterone levels. Omega-3s help balance estrogen and testosterone, um, which are two major side effects of PCOS. So I do not have PCOS specifically, I've not been diagnosed with it, um, but I do have signs and symptoms of it, so I ensure to do full mega. I do one capsule of oregano oil, but remember, just be cautious of the amount that is in a per serving. So I had oregano oil before, which I took two capsules of because the dosage was lower. Um, so I take one capsule of this per day. And oregano specifically is great because it's antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal, and um, it does have a potent complex of antioxidants, which is good for ridding toxins from the body. It is also very great for parasitic benefits. So because I am currently doing a parasite detox, this is the main reason why I'm taking it. I have found that I am less nauseous when I have a bowel movement, when I have oregano in my diet. So I just make sure I take one of these every single day. All right, and then I am taking Berberine Complex. I've been on this for almost, I wanna say three months now. And this is great for intestinal support. Obviously, I've been dealing with issues because I have candida, um, dealing with parasite detox, and Berberine Complex is great for healthy balance of bacteria in the digestive tract, which also helps support a good immune system. So kind of two things in one with this, um, but my main focus with Berberine complex specifically is intestinal support. So the main reason of cleansing the lymphatic system is to remove excess fluids from the body tissues. The lymphatic system is also important for absorption of fatty acids. So again, going back to my full mega in order to completely and fully absorb the most of my omega-3 fatty acids, it's important to have a clean and cleansed lymphatic system. And it also helps the production of immune cells. I totally forgot to show you, but I took um, each. I took drops of each one of these before my lunch. It is just one half dropper full, so I do that of each underneath the tongue, um, and I do that 30 minutes before my lunch. I'm having a cup or two of watermelon this afternoon as my snack, and I'm going to take my OptiGreens 50 and my Microfactor packet, um, which has all my micronutrients in it that I need, and then obviously my OptiGreens 50 is 50 different vegetables with a digestive enzyme blend and probiotic to really help repair that gut um, and promote good bacteria in the gut. So I do these every single day along with everything else you're seeing. Um, typically it would just be this, uh, but because of dealing with candida and a parasite and hormonal bands, I am doing all these additional supplements that you are seeing. So typically it would just be this packet in Optic Green 50, um, but because of the major things that I'm dealing with, that is why I'm sharing this video with you. Also, just a reminder that I just share this because it is my journey, it's what I'm dealing with. I was on a probiotic for acne for over 10 years um, and I needed to get off of it and now I'm doing more of a holistic lifestyle approach. Um, and so I'm just sharing my journey, what works well for me. It's not going to work for everyone, it's not the same for everyone because everyone's 
body and diet is different, um, but I'm just sharing what's helping me to hopefully help and kind of lead others in a right direction and have those who are struggling know that change is possible and that is why I'm sharing that. Also, I did receive a phone call from my doctor, my naturopathic doctor today, um, and we are kind of switching gears now. So it just so happened that I was recording um, this supplemental video for everyone and she had called and was seeing how I was doing, kind of where I'm at with everything. Um, and moving forward, we are going to stop the parasite and candida detox because I've been doing it for the past six months. Um, and she believes that I'm in a good place to now start balancing my hormones. So we are transitioning over to focusing on hormonal balance, hormonal health, um, regulating my period. So I have something, um, I forget the exact name of it. I'll put it on the screen here, but it's where you're, you miss more than three periods in a row um, and it, you're classified as something if you would go to the MD. So she is treating that naturopathically and holistically. Um, so she is shipping my things out. I should receive it within the next couple days. So I'm going to plug that in at the second half of this vlog um, and just share like the first beginning couple days of me being on that new regimen. I will still be finishing up everything that I show, have shown so far in this video. Um, but really just wanna be open, honest, and transparent with all of you sharing my journey with you um, keeping it documented for when and if I ever have to go back on this journey to kind of see where I was at how I progressed um, and how I can go about it again okay, so this is my third time doing this today I just shake it up a little before I do it I put a half dropper underneath my tongue before every meal so this one is the skin balancer I had already talked about it so I'm gonna take this 30 minutes before dinner and then that way it can digest prior to eating Ooh, he's in. He's interested also. What are you doing, Rex? And then I'm also doing two digestive enzymes because I do this. I do two every single time I take a meal or snack to help absorb the nutrients and digest the nutrients that I eat from meals. It is now 10, 16 p.m. So I am going to do my nighttime supplementation routine. I will show you everything and then I will kind of explain why I do all of these. And I do it this late at night because it is best to do it on an empty stomach so it can absorb and work as best as it can. The supplement number one that I take at night is a probiotic. Probiotics work best at night because that is when your spleen is most active and the probiotic tar targets your spleen. So I take one capsule at bedtime and then the second supplementation that I'll do, I'll either do two capsules of the Cape Aloe here on the right hand side or I will do two capsules of the lemonade on the left side. They both essentially do the same thing. It just helps um, create a more like bulky bowel movement um, and it just helps to go the next day. Cape aloe is more like to make it slippery um, so it's easier to excrete the bowel. Whereas like eliminate if you have been constipated and like backed up if you will for a while, that's when I would take two of the lemonade. But typically I just do two of the Cape aloe and that seems to work just as fine for me. And then lastly, I take three capsules of the Protease 360 enzyme. I talked about this in my morning routine. I take this two to three times per day on an empty stomach because again, it just acts like a garbage truck. It goes around the body and picks up toxic things um, and excretes it from the body. So I do this at night as well. Um, so it has all night to work as well as the probiotic and eliminate or Cape Aloe. Okay, so these were the supplements that I use on my daily regimen. I have been for the past about six months. Um, they vary a little bit every time I meet with my naturopathic doctor because we kind of change gears once in a while. Um, and like I said earlier, we are switching gears just about completely and are going to target hormonal health now. 
Um, so I'm going to finish everything I have for my Parasite and Candida Cleanse. Um, but moving forward, I will be doing hormonal balance as well. So I'm going to share that all with you too, um, just to give you some insight on where I'm at currently and where I'm headed um, in the future. Okay, so I'm picking this vlog back up. I just got in my package from my holistic doctor. Um, I believe I left off saying that I was taking you through my whole regimen of what I was doing. Um, I'm still currently doing all of that from Parasite and Candida. I'm going to use up all the products that I have and then I'm going to start this new um, protocol that we have agreed upon. Um, she feels that I'm in a good place. It's been six months since detoxing from Candida. So now we are transitioning over to balancing hormones. Um, so that is everything that is in this package here. Um, so I'm going to go through everything now. I'm not going to start it until I finish all of my other um, supplements. I probably have a week left. So um, I will just pull everything out of the bag now, show you um, the exact products that I'll be using for balancing hormones, um, what it's going to do and benefit for. And then um, once I actually start using them, I can create another vlog for this. But this is going to be nice, short, and sweet. I just wanted to keep it real and honest with you. Um, I did take you through what I was doing for Candida and Parasite because it's going to be helpful for people who are currently dealing with it or might believe they have it. Um, or just for me looking back on my journey and what I was doing at that point and kind of how we transitioned forward. She is so sweet. <laughs> I just love her and hope to be half the lady she is someday. This is my invoice, so I just make payment online. Um, she's so sweet for just sending it to me and then accepting payment afterwards. So here we go. This is what I will be taking. Product one is ovarian complex. So this is going to be really critical because um, I do have high estrogen. Um, and that's very prevalent because I've talked about it before um, when I haven't done a whole video on it, I don't believe, and I could at some point if people are interested. Um, but I had a procedure done June 25th, I believe, or May 25th of 2019. And um, this had been going an ongoing issue for me. I was dealing with... Um, signs and symptoms of PCOS, things like that, but they hadn't diagnosed me with it. So um, long story short, they ended up doing a hysteroscopy and they ended up removing six polyps that they weren't sure what, what it was at first. They had to remove them, test them to make sure they weren't cancerous, things like that. Um, we do have ovarian cancer that runs in the family. Um, those polyps were in my uterus. However, um, estrogen does impact the uterus and ovaries. So. This um, product that she has me doing now, the ovarian complex, is going to be super great for that. Okay, and then we have female balance. This is just made up of a bunch of different herbs. I will walk you through a little bit more once I start using these products um, and doing a little more research because I haven't yet. Um, but I will get to that. And then it looks like she has me on a bunch of different um, droppers. So this is female balance liquescence. I have been on this for so long and I should have told her I <laughs> I already have a backup one in my cabinet so we will be probably taking this all year long <laughs> but that's okay um, this these last a really long time um, probably like three or four months I would say so I have an extra one of these on hand and then we are also going to do female endocrine access drops. This I have no idea um, what it's going to do, what it is really. So I'm going to do research on it and then I will update you in another vlog kind of how these four products are going to um, be moving forward and what the benefits are. So I just wanted to wrap the video up with that. Um, let you know that I'm transitioning over to balancing hormones. So these are the four that I will be on which is so much less than what I was doing which is going to be so great so I can just focus on more overall gut health. Um, so taking my microfactor, OptiGreens, things like that, keeping those micronutrients high um, because disease does 
start in the gut. I hope this was helpful for some of you. Um, just taking you along, showing you what I've been doing, what I've been up to, um, how I've been moving forward. So I am feeling so great. I'm in a really good place. I think balancing hormones is really just going to help that much more. Um, especially with acne um, and the little bit of constipation I'm still dealing with. It is not not as bad as it had been as before. Um, so I've come such a long way in a short six months, honestly. Um, Candida can be really, really tough on the body. Um, so the fact that I'm at a place where I'm at now ensures me that I'm healing, I'm, in a, I'm moving in the right direction, um, and I'm just really excited for the future health. So I am going to get on with my day, but I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram here if you are not. Um, I update there a little more frequently, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>